this is Bob LeCarrie at Fiber Instrument Sales and I'm going to give you a rundown on how to use real time on your OTDR for troubleshooting and cleaning issues. First I will take a scan of these two launch reels I have connected together. This reflection right here, this reflection spike represents the two launch reels being connected together. First launch reel, then the second launch reel. I have a failing event of negative 33.38 dB reflection, which is failing. I want to clean that and make it better. So in a scenario where this location is somewhere other than where my OTDR is, you can turn your OTDR on real time, go to the location where the dirty connection is, and to identify it, put your real time on 15, 50 nanometers, and then as I start to bend the cable, you'll notice that the signal drops down right there. So now I know I've, I've identified the right connection, and now when I disconnect, I break the patch, and now I'm going to clean both connectors separately. Plug them back in. I make the patch. I can see the spike has gotten smaller, but now I want to get actual data to see if I can confirm that I've cleaned the connection properly. So I stop real time, and now I start a quick averaging time scan to get measurable data. And here we go, I have a negative 40 reflection, which is a passing event. I've confirmed that I've cleaned it. I can save these results and move on to the next fiber. Thanks a lot, this is Bob LeCarey again, product line manager for test equipment at FIS. If you have any further questions, please feel free to call FIS or visit our website at fiberinstrumentsales.com.